How's it going, guys? Awesome Soul here, and I'm super excited. A brand new generation of Pokémon is finally upon us. And to celebrate, I'd figure I'd do a top 10 video. Why not? Anyways, so without further ado, here's my top 10 facts about competitive Pokémon battling. Number one. Did you know? Before Generation 6, with the introduction of the Fairy type, Ghost Dark types had zero weaknesses, and for this reason, many people thought they were one of the best types. What if I were to tell you that it's not quite? Statistically speaking, taking into account all weaknesses and resistances, the top five Pokemon types would be Water Steel at number five, Steel Ghost at number four, Steel Dragon at number three, Steel Flying at number 2, and Steel Fairy is statistically the best type. The five worst, on the other hand, would be Ground Rock at number 5, Ice Bug at number 4, Grass Bug at number 3, Ice Grass at number 2, and Poor Old Rock Ice is statistically the worst typing out of all Pokemon. Number two. Ah, Magnemite. Doesn't look like much, right? Well, believe it or not, back in Generation 4, it was possible to teach the Magnemite the move Recycle. Which, if you gave it an Orin Berry and gave it the ability Sturdy, a level 1 Magnemite, in theory, could create an impossible wall to get past allowing you to whittle your opponents down with the move Toxic, while you wait out their slow, agonizing demise. You see, the move Recycle will give back the Orin Berry that Magnemite had just eaten, and due to his ability Sturdy, you will always have one health power remaining. At level 1, Magnemite have exactly 11 health power, and Orin Berry will heal 10 health. Therefore, using the move Recycle will fully restore Magnemite. And of course, being a Steel type, he's immune to Sandstorms. So there's that. Also immune to Toxic. So all you really need to worry about is Hail and being burned. And you have an impenetrable wall of doom. Oh god. Number 3. Did you know, there's currently only three fully evolved Pokémon with unique self-hindering abilities. These being Slacking with Truant. This ability makes it attack every second turn. The legendary Regigigas has Slow Start. This halves its attack and speed stats for the first five turns of battle. And finally Archaeops with Defeatist. This halves both attack stats when its health drops below 50%. Number 4. Shuckle. To some, an incredible tank. To others, a raging ball of death. You see, Shuckle actually has the potential to deal the highest possible damage out of any Pokémon in the game. Don't believe me? Well, a level 100 Shuckle in a double battle with a partner that has the ability Flower Gift during sunny weather. And, Shuckle has fully boosted stats with the held item Metronome, along with the use of the moves Helping Hand, Power Trick, and the use of Skill Swap to gain either the ability Pure Power or Huge Power, and Defense Curl followed by the move Rollout. On Rollout's fifth attack against either a level 1 Ladyba or Yanma, with a fully lowered defense stat, and if the move critically hits, the attack will deal an insane 213,896,052 damage. Oh yeah, raging ball of death indeed. Number 5. Based on statistics gathered prior to Generation 6, Dragon types have some of the highest average stat totals out of all types. Dragon types have the highest health power averages out of all Pokemon. 
along with attack and special attack being the highest out of every single Pokemon type. Steel, on the other hand, have the highest defense and special defense averages, and flying has the highest speed average. Number 6. Did you know, nearly every Pokemon can learn the move Toxic through the use of TMs. One of the few exceptions to this rule are Why Not and Poor Old Wobbuffet. Number 7. With Ghost Dark types now weak to fairy moves, the only type combination with no weaknesses are electric types with the ability Levitate. There are currently only three Pokemon with such ability and typing, that being the Electros line. Number 8. Did you know, Pokemon Licky Licky is the only normal type Pokemon that can learn the move Explosion, which in itself is a normal type move. Equally odd is the Pokemon Heracross is the only bug type Pokemon that can learn the bug type move Megahorn. Number 9. In terms of base stats, both Shuckle and Munchlax are tied for the slowest Pokemon in existence, that base stat total being 5. Number 10. Finally, I'll leave you with three interesting facts about legendary Pokemon. Giratina is the only multi-type Pokemon that's weak to both its own types. Dialga is currently the only Dragon-type Pokemon that's not weak to Dragon-type moves. And finally, Mew can learn Attract and Captivate despite being genderless. However, it'll always fail unless used against a genderless Pokemon. Hey, thanks for watching. I certainly hope you learned something. I know I certainly did while researching all this stuff. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. It'll help me out quite a bit. And subscribe if you feel like it. I got lots of content coming in the future. Hopefully a few more of these top 10 videos would be kind of interesting to make. So if you have any suggestions for topics, I don't know, I'll try and cover them. But I got a few planned already. Anyways, see you guys next time.